Hello people, I'm Bharat Acharya. Welcome to our new video. So in today's video, we're going to learn the data transfer group of instructions of 8051 microcontroller. Now you know 8051 has 111 instructions classified into various groups. One of those groups is data transfer group. And as the name suggests, data transfer group means you transfer data from one place to the other. You don't do any add, subtract, multiply, divide, no and or x or nothing. The simple data transfers. Are they useful? They are probably the most used instructions in a program. Uh, you take the printout of any program, you will see predominantly move instructions all over the place. Most of these instructions are move instructions. I'll tell you something about move instructions. When you write a move, you write two operands in the instruction, x and y as an example. The first operand is always the destination. So the syntax goes move destination comma source. The data will be copied from the source to the destination. One second, what did I say? Data will be copied. There is no cut. It's just a copy. You know the difference, right? Data will remain in the source but will also get copied into the destination. Now what are these sources and destinations possibly? They could be a register, the most important register that's accumulator. It could be any of the RAM registers. It could be direct addressing mode where you give an address. It could be indirect addressing mode where you give the address using a register. I am sure you know that if you have seen addressing modes. That is the way you learn the subject. You first learn addressing modes, then you go into instructions, then you go into programs. Do not do it the other way around. So we have done video of addressing modes. When you learn addressing modes, you know what various addressing modes are. This is image addressing, register addressing, direct addressing, indirect addressing. You have seen that. So I will be teaching you the various move instructions. Then the move X and the move C types. Move X are for external RAM <laughs> and move C is for ROM, internal as well as external. Now, when you use external memory, there are some typical rules that apply. All transfers are with A register, you cannot use direct addressing mode and you can only do a data transfer, you cannot directly add or subtract. Now, there is an implication of this. Uh, if I take the same program, for internal memory and for external memory, there will be a world of a difference between the program, a program to add two numbers. So I am going to show you the program. I won't just say it, I will show it to you, writing instructions. If I have to add two numbers in internal RAM, it's such a small program. If I have to add two numbers in external RAM, it's going to be this big a program. Why? Because of the rules that come along with the MoveX instruction. So I'll be telling you the rules and their implication. How does it affect you as a programmer? Students in their practical exam pick up the question and they see add two numbers. They feel very happy. What is important to notice is whether the question is for internal RAM or for external RAM. For internal RAM, yes, it's your lucky day. External RAM, no, it's not that you're unlucky, but it's just that it's going to take, it's going to take much more effort. Working with external RAM requires a lot of skill, which is what I'm going to be showing you over here. Anyway, then we'll be seeing push and pop instructions. These are instructions related to stack operations. This comes as a five mark question, especially in Bombay University, it's a typical question. Explain stack related instructions of AD51. It may come directly, it may also be used indirectly. I'm sure you know there's a topic called interrupts. I'm sure you also know it's a very important topic. In the explanation of interrupts, if you know when a processor gets an interrupt, it goes to the ISR. While doing that, it does a push. It pushes the return address into the stack and while coming back, it pops the return address. So again, over there also you need to explain push and pop. So once for all, understand push and pop properly. So I'm going to be showing you that with examples. And then finally, the last part of this group, exchange instructions, they are pretty simple. The name itself is the answer. They will exchange the value of the two registers. Now, there is a typical instruction over here, XCHD. Many, this comes a lot in the exam because many students ignore this instruction and when they suddenly see it in the exam, they think it's a typing mistake. That D is just extra. It is supposed to be only XCH. There is an XCH with the same operands. There is an XCHD. There is a difference between the two. I'm going to be showing you that again with examples. So that's the scope of this video. Now, you know what I've been doing. This is an introduction. You want to watch the whole video. You want to learn the whole subject from me. You want to enjoy learning the subject with real world examples and seeing how they affect you in your day to day life and how they shape you as a programmer. Come to my website. That's www.bharatacharyaeducation.com. The link will be given down below. All you need to do is register yourself as a user. There is a subscription fee. Of course, this is not my hobby. This is my profession. This is professional service. We work day in, day out to keep churning out videos shooting, editing, uploading, maintaining the server, etc, etc, etc. So to do all of that and to make it viable for us at the same time to keep it affordable for every student so that they all can benefit, I've kept the cost ridiculously low. So the cost is 999, 1000 rupees basically. All you need to do is make the payment. Instantly the site becomes active for you. You are now eligible to watch the videos of 8051. 
there are about uh, 35 videos which cover practically everything a student learns in AD51, uh, starting from introduction, pin diagram, architecture, flag register, the, all the general purpose registers, memory banks, if you know that AD51 has memory banks, internal RAM, external RAM, all the memories, addressing modes, the whole instruction set, programming, timer section with its program, serial port with its program, interrupts, power saving modes, all types of interfacing, LCD, LED, matrix keyboard and so on. Everything that you heard, hear of in AD51, you will be finding it. You can see the whole list of videos before you subscribe so you can match it up with your own syllabus. If you are from Bombay University, rest assured, everything that is there in your syllabus is there in that channel. Uh, if you, Even if you are not from Bombay University, whichever university you are from, AD51 is the same practically for all of you. So match up all the, the list of the videos with your own syllabus and see how much does it cover. And uh, once you subscribe, you will be able to watch the videos for the next six months. Your subscription remains active for six months and you can watch the videos as many times as you want to. Not only the videos, along with every video, there is a small button called view notes. When you click that, a PDF opens. That is the PDF of my book for that particular topic. So when you are watching this video, you will get the PDF of the whole data transfer group of instructions. It is going to be about four or five pages. So it has all the theory material. Understanding an answer is one thing. Knowing what to write in the exam is completely different. I am sure you know that you are an engineering student. You know how difficult it is to, correct, to source the correct material to be written so that you get maximum marks. So many students understand everything perfectly but when it comes to writing, they don't give out their best in the exam and that's the reason why they don't really score. So anyway, so all of that material has been made by me over the years. I have been teaching the subject for 20 years. So it's been made by me and refined every year. Every year I keep updating it. Anyway, so you will get all of that. I hope to see you there. Wish you all the best. Enjoy learning.